Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's second video. Uh, day 10 will take us to the 18th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension affairs at the Sep Ensembles. Very into around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at Surface B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the early part of July. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video saves our 6 MUK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Well, both of them, um, and thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. Now, I've got to tell you about the calendar. So today is the last day for you to send your spring entries. So uh, we are indeed going to be doing a 2026 Gauss Weather Leads Viewer Photography Calendar. And uh, this past week, we've been asking for spring entries for the months of March, April, and May, of course. And we've had lots of uh, uh, entrants. So thank you so much, everyone, for uh, submitting your photographs. You've still got today to do that for the season of spring. Tomorrow, we'll be starting to ask for summer. Do -do -do, for summer um, uh, photographs. But one more day for spring. So if you've got a nice spring photo, then uh, you can email that to me at galsweatherleads at gmail.com. Or you can post it to our Discord server in the uh, 2026 Viewer Photography Submissions channel. And, uh, of course, you've got to be on the server to do that. But uh, you can uh, submit, uh, you know, your photo uh, that way as well. So thank you so much, everyone, for submitting their photos. Um, as I said, we've got a nice selection for spring. Tomorrow we'll be moving on to uh, summer. We are saying uh, that uh, we're uh, limiting this to, like, four photos per person per season. That's one uh, per season. Uh, that makes it fair for everybody to get a fair a crack of the whip to be able to have their photo uh, uh, featured in the calendar. And uh, we're also saying, can you please uh, make sure that you uh, own the copyright to the photo, so no photo taken from somebody else's Facebook page and whatnot, and no AI enhancements as well, please. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, you, you will get your photos um, uh, considered for submission uh, as long as you meet that criteria. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, getting involved in our calendar. We're taking our time this year. Last year was a little bit rushed, but we still managed to produce a really lovely um, product. And uh, this year... As I say, uh, we're uh, taking a little bit longer on it. So, one more day for spring photos. Then we're moving on to summer. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much to James098, our calendar designer, for uh, sorting it all out for us. Right, OK, let's start off with the latest with map from EarthNoldSchool.net. So, we're bringing in a westerly flow from off the Atlantic today. High pressure down here will be pushing in that direction, though over the next few days more in a moment central england temperature is uh, currently sitting at 13.5 that's uh, 0.6 of a degree below 61 to 1990 hours which would be quite cool sort of third week to uh july that is provisional to be uh to june i should say that is provisional to the 6th of june these are the gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks we're at northampton today the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Northampton? We're starting up below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to be uh, lifting up and they're going to be turning uh, warm or very warm, maybe even quite hot as we go through uh, late next week and beyond it. Now, this looked like a brief heat spike, didn't it? A couple of days ago, it looked like we were going to do something a bit like that. Uh, not quite as dramatic as that, but you get the idea. Um, now, it looks like this uh, very warm spell, hot spell even, could extend out a few more days longer. So actually, this third week of June could be shaving up to be very warm in the hot. Eventually, the upper air temperatures do start to come down towards the, uh, that stage of the month. Of course, that's a very long way out and extended range. You'll notice the big green line, Super GFS operational run, uh, midnight operational run, actually get close to 20 degrees at 850 HPA. That's very hot for uh, June. Precipitation wise, it's not going to be completely dry over the next few days, but there will be, so there will be a few showery bursts around, but quite a bit of dry weather to be honest. Beyond that though, turning more unsettled as we go from about the 12th 
to uh, say the 18th of June with some rather large precipitation spikes and then maybe things drying up again into the uh, closing week of month but of course again that is a long way out it's extended range and therefore it's unreliable. Temperature not here. It's next five days to the 13th of June, a little bit above average, 6 to 10 day, coming out uh, substantially warmer, if not hotter than average. And the 10th of 14 day, also coming out significantly above average as well. Definite warming trend there. Precipitation anomalies to the 15th of June for the next seven days. Western average to the northwest, driving average to the southeast. If we look at the 8 to 14 day, that's coming out driving average in all areas, as is the 10 to 16 day. Right, let's start going through the chart. Day 3, Miss Avalanche's UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Wednesday. No, 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 high pressure is reaching in from the south, bring quite a bit of dry weather with it. Now, we go through the Thursday, and the wind shifts around to a southerly, southeasterly direction. Check this out. Hot air surging northwards, plus 20 Celsius ice firm into the north coast of France, plus 15 Celsius ice firm across England and Wales. And we keep it hot then as we go through to the 13th as well. And on into the 14th, that's next Saturday, Fungi Low develops out to the west. That gradually starting to push some cooler, fresher air in from off the Atlantic. But uh, extending out the heat there with the UK Met into next weekend. Icon looking like this again, draws up that southerly. From Wednesday to Thursday, with hot air pushing northwards as well, but keeps us in that very warm southerly flow through to next weekend, rather than just pushing very quickly, cold run across the country, cooling things down. Now the hot air uh, is maintained, really, through to next weekend. Again, I can't get plus 20 cells of ice firm. It's far southeast of England uh, next Saturday, plus 15 cells of ice firm across England and Wales. The cooler fresh air does eventually push across through next weekend, but still with a ridge of high pressure. So a bit of a cool down, but probably still very warm and mainly dry. Could we be setting up a heat wave here uh, rather than a heat spike? So this how KMA is looking. Well, that one is cooling things down quite quickly, uh, I think, still. Uh, looks quite unsettled as well. Next weekend could be rather thundery as well. Uh, and then high pressure really building in. That's an interesting feature just there. That little low. Um, let's highlight it. That looks like it could be like a subtropical type feature there. Coast of Newfoundland. No, <laughs> that would be very early days for that. Anyway, high pressure sort of uh, close to the country. Uh, generally to the west. So mainly drive for KMA and a little bit of cooler there with that one, I think. The GFS, midnight run. Again, we shift that wind around to a southerly direction through the end of whip, coming very warm, if not hot. Then this fungi low starts pushing northwards next weekend. That's a plus 20 cells ice firm, getting to far southeast of England. Looking very volatile, I have to say, with GFS midnight run for next weekend. Under that area of low pressure, hot and thundery, a melting pot. Of, uh, <laughs> of the volatility there, potentially. But Chuck actually starts to ease its way eastwards with a ridge building out to the north and west, turning drier, a little bit cooler then. And then high pressure sitting to the west of the country. That's going to be extended, so cooler and more showery, potentially, with a midnight run. What about the six then? Again, we bring up that subly flow, but we don't push in uh, the cooler air quickly, as it looked like we would do, sort of yesterday same the day before. So, uh, stay pretty warm, if not hot, through into uh, next weekend. Yeah, we've got uh, particularly focusing on England, Wales for the heat, and this, this far southeast corner with that plus 20 Celsius isothermal, but thundery under that uh, trough of low pressure. So hot and thundery, very humid next weekend, and then cooler, fresh air gradually starting to ease in from the west. Beyond that, we get towards uh, the extended range, high pressure again, building close to the country, bring a lot of dry weather with it, cooler uh, into the very extended, and rather showery as we get to the 24th of June as far 
as we get to, of course, is approaching Glastonbury. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, one things. Get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We only need to put on around uh, 40 subscribers. So that sells to 19.9k. Uh, if you could give us up, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. Love it. So much, everyone. Right, GM, again, building that high pressure. The East Coast low pressure out to where draws up this southerly as we go through to the end of the week. Looking hot, um, but potentially rather volatile as well. Pushing the Atlantic through uh, next weekend, but still with high pressure very close to the country and actually re establishing the high around days 9 and 10. So, prolonged but very warm weather setting up there, probably turning a bit cooler next weekend, but to be honest, that looks like a prolonged spell, very warm weather setting up. And then the East End rounds it all off again with both southerly winds through uh, the end of next week, very warm if not hot. Then the foundry low developing close to the country as we go through next weekend, pushing cooler, fresher air uh, through, maybe a little bit more quickly than some of the model output does today. Next week, with the high pressure just to our southwest, looking mostly dry, but cooler and then, um, cooler and fresher, then the high pressure builds back in over top of the country, so becoming increasingly uh, dry and very warm through uh, the extent range with the east end. That looks like a prolonged spell of a very warm and potentially quite hot weather that we've got setting up there. Upper air temperatures aren't excessive, but they are like consistently warm with about 15 or very warm with about 15 Celsius isotherm. Could this be developing into a long, hot summer? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Right, precipitation anomaly, uh, precipitation forecast, sorry, based on that ECM run from Tibetan.com. Shower even all, mostly dry in the south over the next few days. Then we've got the risk of some uh, big thunderstorms as we go through towards the end of week and next weekend. Check that out. That looks uh, pretty widespread. That's next Saturday for thunder. Burdu. That. <laughs> so sorry, everyone. Uh, they go beyond that and it's mostly dry uh, as we get to day 10 and of course beyond it right well the uh, visa we got on the table then the ECM on top of today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office it gets us to the 18th of June 20 members of the ECM on top of high pressure ridges from the southwest up to the north of Europe mostly dry then with that a warm 18 high pressure just west southwest and 13 with high pressure between Iceland and uh, Scandinavia bring the wind in from a very warm easterly. And then in two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. It will be getting us to the 23rd of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM, as well as all of them. High pressure more or less over top of the country. So it's a very anti cyclonic scene with the ECM ensembles as we go further on into June. I want to go there. Right, a CFSB2 means a 500 millibar high times break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 8th to the 14th of June. The next week has high pressure to the south and also to the west, building northwards. Low pressure is lifting out to the north. Week 2 will be the 15th to 21st of June. High pressure right over the top of the country. Goodness gracious me, that would be very warm and dry. And goes on to week 3. As well, she's 22nd, 28th of June with high pressure again, right over top of the country. Uh, week four rounds it all off. It's a slightly weaker signal, but still anti cyclonic here. With again high pressure in control and dominating, dominate, dominating uh, the weather. So it looks like we're set for a lot of high pressure over the next few weeks. And this hour, 700 millibar high tolerance is looking from CFS for July. Now, remember, these charts do change daily. Um, but today's idea, well, if you want a hot July, it doesn't get much better than this. High pressure centred right over top of the country. So uh, the temperature is forecast to be significantly above average in the red shade because one, two degrees above normal. And the precipitation only shows no signal, but you would have thought a dry month would be very likely, given, you know, the extent of high pressure right in over us. So, um, well, again, I just wonder, could this be developing into a long, hot summer? In the Gautelot Summer Forecast, we did not rule out the chance of, like, uh, a very dry and hot summer. 
We didn't go for that due to the late May wobble in the pattern. But uh, I just wonder, I just wonder where this is all going, I have to say. So, we'll see. Time will tell. Right, we're done. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all my videos. Guys, don't get to friends about cows. I'll be getting to you. So, everyone, for doing that tomorrow at 6 a.m. You can win forecast. And we will have that update for download and the bond tomorrow as well. A lot of potential for all day. Take uh, take more on. <coughs> So sorry, everyone, keep checking back for more. And by the way, if you're interested in Glastonbury, Glastonbury updates will be starting uh, next week, probably towards the latter stage of next week. I will confirm that in a couple of days' time. Right, you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm off to job number two now. <laughs> Have a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.